this day, I say, yo, y'all say it ain't lingerie on a shot and it's going to touch down on your runway. I'm safe. Hey, y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Monty. For those of you that don't know me, and today I'm going to be doing a Valentine's Day gift guide for her. If you didn't see my video last week, I did a Valentine's Day gift guide for him. So if you still need help finding a gift for your significant other, check out that other video. And just like last week's video, for those of you that did watch it, I'm going to be breaking down the price ranges. That way I can make sure it works with everybody's budget for this upcoming Valentine's Day. This is to help you find gifts for either your girlfriend, your best friend, your sister, your mom, etc. A lot of these gifts are just honestly things that I have already received or things I want to receive. So without further ado, let's get started. So gifts under $10. The first one is going to be Liberty Creek Sweet Red Wine. I feel like I've mentioned this one before. Um, I think it was in my Q&A video. It is under $10, so it's super affordable. And if you're into sweet reds, or if you're not even into wines and want to get into wines, I feel like that's a great starter wine. Um, but yeah, sweet red, definitely under $10. And I mean, who doesn't love a sweet red for Valentine's Day? Next item would be Valentine's Day packaged chocolate. So um, my favorite is like Ferrero Rocher. I know that there's like Kisses, Recess, Hershey's. They do a really great job at their Valentine's Day packaging. So really just get like her favorite one and I'm sure she'll appreciate that. So next on the list are roses or flowers. I recommend going to Trader Joe's. I feel like Trader Joe's has the cheapest flowers that you could definitely find below $10. Um, so there's really no reason that your girl doesn't get flowers this Valentine's Day. So next on the list, just like the one on the man's gift guide, some chocolate covered strawberries. They're super duper easy to make, super cheap, and it's very thoughtful. The final thing on the list of gifts under $10 would be a cute coffee mug. If you're like me, you can never have enough coffee mugs. Um, you could easily find some cute ones. It would be Marshalls, Ross, Burlington, TJ Maxx, and Home Goods. So the next range would be gifts under $25. The first item that I have is a Valentine's Day gift basket. I think this is super cute. Again, I copied off of the men's gift guide, but you can never go wrong with a really cute Valentine's Day basket. You could fill it up with her favorite snacks, drinks, um, really anything and again this is just like an, like a basic idea you could always like you know spend more on this basket if you want to but I feel like you could easily make a basket under $25 for sure so the next item on the list is a planner if your girl is anything like me I love to stay organized I love to plan so whether that be a financial planner, a monthly slash yearly planner, um, you could always find some really cute ones at Target, on my Amazon storefront, um, or even at places like Marshalls. At Marshalls, I feel like they have the best prices for planners. That's usually where I get my yearly ones. When it comes to financial planners, I actually make my own on Canva. So if you are looking for one, I don't mind um, posting the one I used last year. I actually ended up just switching out the colors and formatting it to like this year's um, calendar. But but yeah, like if, if she likes to stay organized, a planner is always a good option, especially since it's still the beginning of the year. So the next item on the list would be a Starbucks tumbler. Um, my boyfriend actually got me this one for my birthday and oh my gosh, I'm so obsessed. It's like super cute um, But yeah, if you go to your local Starbucks these large ones range from like maybe like 25 or less This one was 22 specifically, but I know that there can be some that are a little bit more expensive and a little bit cheaper Especially like if they're the smaller ones. So that is a super cute affordable gift option if your girl loves starbucks or you know just wants to stay hydrated this year um i know i fill mine up with water and i carry it with me everywhere i go whether it be my cycling class or even work so next on the list would be candles or just general smell goods this can range anywhere from essential oils to um, wax for your wax melters wax warmers whatever you call it um target has some really good ones what else? Candles you can get from like Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Home Goods. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know about you, but I love when my house smells good. I love 
just you know especially on like sunday reset days where like i just clean my whole apartment i love to burn a candle and to start my wax warmer and just have the whole apartment smelling great so next on the list would be house slippers um i feel like you can never go wrong with some cute like fluffy house slippers when it comes to girls i will have some linked in my amazon storefront i feel like you know i'm always switching out my house slippers so even if your girl already has some you know you could just upgrade her to a new set of slippers next on the list would be a robe whether that be a silk robe or a like fuzzy robe i feel like a girl can never get tired of too many robes i think i have about three different silk robes and so yeah i think a robe is super important for a girl to have whether that be like just to to wear like after taking a shower or while she's getting ready to go out um you can never go wrong with a robe next on the list would be a new wine glass set i have already included some on my amazon storefront but if you want to actually check them out in person i recommend going to like home goods tj maxx and marshall's next on the list for gifts under 25 dollars would be a massage gun i recently bought a pink one for myself just because i've been trying out new classes like spin and pilates and i've been coming home so sore and honestly this massage gun has been such a lifesaver my friend actually introduced them to me she had one and she let me use it and it honestly like i just knew i needed it so if your girl doesn't already have one and she likes to work out i definitely recommend getting one this item was also on the men's gift guide so don't come at me but i just really think that everybody should have one especially if it's a really cute pink one like the one i have so next on the list would be date night idea scratch off game i actually saw this on amazon as i was scrolling to add items into my um gift guide for her list and i thought it was a super cute idea it's very similar to like the relationship edition like card game but instead um you know you could gift this to your girlfriend and whenever you guys are thinking about your next date night you could easily just grab one of those items scratch it off and see where it takes you so the next budget would be gifts under 35 dollars the first one is a heated blanket i got one for christmas and i absolutely love it i feel like everyone should have one especially when it's that time of the month um i think it's very comforting for girls and i mean even when you're like getting ready to get into bed i feel like it just sets the mood for like the best sleep of your life um so if you don't already have a heated blanket i really recommend you get one next on the list would be her favorite wine or a wine decanter I don't know if I pronounced that right, but I have it listed on my Amazon storefront. It's like a super cute modern container where you can put your wine into, and I think it's just such a cute talking point. It's kind of like the whiskey set for men, but female version. <laughs> um, especially if your girl is into wine, I think every girl should get one of these. I don't have one, but after seeing them on Amazon, I definitely want to buy one for myself now. Um, again, I mentioned wine just because in case she doesn't like that sweet red I mentioned before that's under $10 You can always get her her favorite wine um, Which might be pricier or you can even go to like total wine and ask a worker to recommend one I don't really have one that I could recommend just because I feel like the Liberty Creek sweet red is like my go-to other than that um, I've been like into Moscato's what else am I into? Pinot Grigio. And I'm kind of like at a phase where I'm just trying new wines. So I don't really have one to recommend right now. But it's always fun to um, just try out a new wine. I know um, somebody had commented in my previous video that they did like an at-home wine tasting. And I feel like if you want to try that out for Valentine's Day, you could always do that. And it would be a really good way to find like your new favorite wine. Next on the list would be makeup brushes. You could either go to Ulta, Sephora for this, or you could go to my Amazon storefront. I've looked through different sets and I've looked through the reviews and you could find one under $35 there. So if your girlfriend is into makeup, um, go ahead and snatch one of those because I'm telling you, no matter how many makeup brushes she has, she's always gonna need some new ones. Next on my list would be the Olaplex shampoo or conditioner or bonding oil. That's what I use for my hair and it's like, you know, obviously my hair is damaged from bleach, but at the same time, these shampoos and conditioners have really helped my hair 
to stay like shiny and soft and so if your girl dyes her hair I really recommend you get these for her because not only are they like $30 um, per piece but like you know just come through for her she would really appreciate this so next on the list would be a phone tripod um, obviously if she has a camera let's say she's into like vlogging as well you could always get her a new camera tripod but if she doesn't already have um, a phone tripod you could always do that to help her out with you know her selfies to step up her Instagram game or whatever the case is um, I know that I had a phone tripod not too long ago but it came with like a really like obnoxious like ring light so I definitely need to buy a new selfie or sorry a new uh, phone tripod so that way I don't have to ask anybody to take my photo so I could do it myself <laughs> So if you know that your girl is into like Instagram photos or just, you know, like taking pictures in general, I feel like this would be a really useful gift for her. So next on the list would be a selfie light. There is this one selfie light that's like going viral on TikTok right now. And I feel like everybody needs a selfie light to step up their selfie game just in general, whether that be a selfie or just prop it to the back of your camera. Um, it's a really useful tool that like really steps up any of your photos that you take. This is gonna like bring up the quality up like 10 times. So truly recommend having a selfie light. I mean, if I didn't have a selfie light on my camera, it would be so dark in here. So if your girl is into photos, selfies, videos, whatever, a selfie light is a must. So the last item of gifts under $35 would be the five minute journal. My brother gifted me a gratitude journal or a positivity journal over Christmas and I've been trying to practice writing into it whenever I can. I've been trying to make it more of a habit. If your girl wants to practice gratitude, I feel like the five minute journal is an amazing gift for Valentine's Day. So the next budget would be gifts under $50. The first item would be a new gym bag. Again, this is for the gym girlies. Um, if she doesn't already have a gym bag or she might need an upgrade, I recommend getting one from Nike, Gymshark, Amazon. Amazon has a ton of cute ones. I will list a few on my Amazon storefront for me to choose from. But yeah, I feel like especially a really cute like light pink one. Oh, I'm like so obsessed with light pink right now. And I've seen so many cute ones on Amazon. I think Gymshark actually has their gym bags on sale right now. So that's another um, good option for you to find one of these. So next on the list would be her favorite pre-workout or supplements. I know that I mentioned this in the last video, but I just feel like if she's into working out, if she's into fitness, this would also be a great idea to give for her. Um, and I do want to mention that I am an ambassador for Bucked Up and I do have a code MOMMY20 for 20% off. If your girl has not tried pre-workouts before and is interested in trying, I do have a link where you can get free samples of pre-workout. All you have to do is pay for the shipping and you get some free pre-workouts and a shaker bottle. Um, you can choose like the colors and whatnot. So I do have a link for that and I will tag it or actually I think I have the link on my link tree on my Instagram. So if you're interested in free samples of pre-workout or if you just want to gift these like for your girlfriend, for your best friend, whatever, you can definitely do that as well. Last item on the gifts under $50 would be the Dior Addict Lip Oil. You can find at Ulta. Um, I want to say it was $40. They have like different shades of lip oil. I really recommend this. I feel like every girl needs this as an essential in her everyday bag. All right, so the next budget is gifts under $100. The first item is a Polaroid camera. If she doesn't already have one, this is a great gift. I have a Polaroid camera and I just love bringing it out and just capturing like candid moments. Um, I do wanna make like a photo album. I think it's really cute having a photo album of Polaroid pictures. So if your girl doesn't already have a Polaroid camera, I'm pretty sure she would want one. So next would be a Pandora ring or bracelet. My boyfriend got me this Pandora bracelet uh, for my birthday and it is super cute, super dainty. Um, but they also have like rings for under um, $100 for sure. So that's another good idea. So next on the list would be Ugg slippers. 
um, I know that like literally everybody has these Ugg slippers, but they are literally so comfortable. Um, so if you don't want to do like just any slippers when it comes to home slippers, I do have some Ugg slippers listed in my Amazon storefront that are under $100. So next on the list would be a new gym workout set. I included some in my Amazon storefront that range anywhere from like $20 to $40. Um, but if you do want to invest in a little better quality or just like a more known brand like Gymshark, you can definitely find like a complete set for under a hundred dollars so next on the list would be a necklace with your initial on it or with her initial on it or with a cute gem i feel like you can never go wrong with a simple but cute necklace i still have mine it has my boyfriend's initial i love wearing it i think that's like a statement piece like yeah i have a boyfriend back off um so if your girlfriend or if your girl doesn't already have a initial necklace i do recommend you get one next on the item for gift under a hundred dollars would be a stanley cup i have a hot pink stanley cup that my job actually gifted to me and i am so obsessed with it it literally keeps my drink or my ice in there like all day so i definitely recommend getting one of those i have some listed on my amazon storefront that are like super cute light blue light pink colors um so yeah if your girl doesn't already have a stanley cup i recommend getting her one because it's always nice getting a gifted one rather than having to go spend like 70 bucks on one yourself um so yeah if your girl doesn't already have one i recommend you get her one the final thing i have under gifts under 100 dollars would be preserved flowers I feel like this isn't talked about enough, but I think preserved flowers are like such a great piece and such a great like home decor item as well. I went to an Airbnb in like December and they had some preserved flowers that literally felt so real. Like you don't have to go buy flowers every week, y'all. Like if you just have these preserved flowers and have them, somewhere nice in your apartment like they could last forever and they look real they feel real um and they have them in all kinds of colors i have a few listed on my amazon storefront i even have one that's like a heart shaped one so check that out because i promise you it would be worth it so gifts over a hundred dollars you can never go wrong with a Ulta Sephora Victoria's Secret gift card that's over a hundred dollars because I promise you when a girl goes to Ulta she could easily spend over a hundred dollars with just two items kid you not so if you really want to step up your game and give her a gift card especially if it's a makeup gift card that better be over a hundred dollars Please. I will say that obviously you can get an Ulta gift card that's under $100, but I promise you she's probably going to buy like one item if that. She loves makeup. I definitely recommend getting her an Ulta or Sephora gift card that's over $100 just to make sure she gets her essentials and not have to worry about spending out of pocket money. So next on the list would be new workout shoes. I feel like if your girl is into working out, you could always buy her a new pair of a color that she doesn't have already or let's say if she's like me i love a good white crisp pair of workout shoes my boyfriend just bought me some new white shoes because my old ones were looking real dusty um so yeah if your girl has some old white workout shoes i recommend you get her a new fresh set um other than that you can always find her just like any pair of workout shoes doesn't even necessarily have to be a new pair of workout shoes it could be just a cute pair of shoes a cute pair of dunks um i feel like you can never go wrong with that next on the list for gifts over 100 would be an essentials hoodie i just bought myself one on StockX, and i want to say it was like 90 dollars so it was definitely like below retail price but if you have the StockX app, you know, just stay up to date with the prices and I'm sure you can find a good deal like that one. And I don't know, I feel like everybody needs an essentials hoodie. I feel like every time I go on Pinterest, I always see a, like a super cute fit of a girl wearing essentials hoodie with like some cargos and some dunks. And you can't go wrong with that. So if your girl doesn't already have an essentials hoodie, you can find one for $100, I promise you. So the next item was a pair of Nike Dunks. I know I just mentioned this right now with the whole like buying new workout shoes. So if you don't do that, Nike Dunks is always a good option. 
Next on the list would be a circuit or a cricket machine. If your girl is into fashion, into making her own sweaters with cute logos on it, I recommend you get that. I mean, you could really just do about anything with them. I know I have a cousin that does like tumblers with her circuit and they come out so freaking cute, like custom made and everything. So I feel like if she's like super into DIY projects, a circuit or a cricket is the way to go. Next on the list would be either paying for her nails, her lashes, her hair appointment. If she's anything like me, I'm always getting maintenance on my lashes, on my nails, on my hair. And so that's just like a never ending cycle of just money that has to come out of my pocket. I'm paying about $100 every other week for a fresh set of lashes. And the same for my nails really, like maybe at least once a month I go to get my nails done. And for my hair, it's like once every like two months. So just so you have an idea of how often girls need to do this to like maintain herself. It does get pricey, so I do recommend you paying for it. I just feel like paying for one of these items is just such a thoughtful thing, especially because a girl spends so much money on herself on a yearly basis just to like feel pretty and so, you know, just do her a favor. Next on the list would be a designer fragrance. I do have a few fragrances that I love. Um, again, this is just a few, I have a ton and I could make like literally a whole other video of just like my perfume collection. But these are like my top three. The first one would be the Flower Bomb by Victor and Ralph. Next one I have is the Dior Miss Dior one. I think this is like my signature scent, the Gucci Bamboo. I literally had to ask my mom to gift this to me like two times in a row just because of how much I love it. So those are my top three. You could definitely find your own that you like or that you think she would like. Um, you can literally just go to Dillard's, Macy's, Ulta and just smell them and you can decide. But yeah, those are just my top three. So finally, my gifts for over $100. Um, I know that in the last video, I said you can make your own dinner, but if you want to pop out and be a little bougie, I do recommend taking your girl to a Brazilian steakhouse. Um, I feel like you can never go wrong with this. If you haven't already taken her out to a Brazilian steakhouse, whether that be Fogo de Chao or just a local Brazilian steakhouse, for example, in Texas, we have Texas to Brazil. Um, I definitely recommend you take her to one. You can never go wrong with that. Have a nice glass of wine or bottle of wine while you're there. The prices usually range for like $50 per person. Again, this is almost like a buffet, but for like quality red meat. Um, if you guys are into like red meat, steaks, all that, definitely recommend you going there. It's, that is so worth it, honestly. Like, I know it can be like kind of pricey, but me and my boyfriend go to these Brazilian steakhouse a few times a year because of how good it is. So the next budget is gifts over $200. And the first item on that list is the Marc Jacobs tote bag. I feel like every girl has this right now, but you cannot go wrong with it as a gift. I have a Marc Jacobs tote bag in the size medium. Um, this is my work bag and it honestly fits so much. I almost got the large. But honestly, you could do with a medium if you're like, if you just carry like your basic essentials, especially as a work bag, I feel like the medium is the perfect size. But yeah, even though everybody has this bag, I do recommend it. If you guys wanna see a what's in my bag video, just to get an idea of just how much fits in this bag, I can totally do that. But next on the list, just to stay with the Valentine's Day theme, would be the Viral Heart Crossbody Purse by Coach. This is such a cute item. It definitely goes with the Valentine's Day theme. Um, so if your girl is super into like just statement piece handbags, this is like the perfect one. The next on the list would be a Gucci heart ring or a Gucci necklace. Um, I think these run about like 290, but they are literally the cutest thing. And again, it goes with like the Valentine's Day theme with it being heart shaped. Um, but yeah, I think this is super cute if you can afford to buy one of these for her. So our last budget would be gifts over $300. I am going to copy once again from the gift guide for him. 
but I really do recommend getting some noise canceling headphones. I promise I'm not, I'm trying not to like copy everything from the men's gift guide, but I do promise that those noise canceling headphones are totally worth it. So for the final item for gifts over $300, would be some designer sunglasses. Every girl needs a pair of designer sunglasses, especially if she's into sunglasses like I am. I feel like I'm always wearing my sunglasses if I'm out and about. And so, yeah, you can never go wrong with those. Again, I recommend Sunglass Hut when it comes to buying some designer affordable glasses. So that wraps up my Valentine's Day gift guide series. Again, if you haven't seen the Valentine's Day gift guide for him, please check that out. That was my previous video. But other than that, I hope you guys have an amazing Valentine's Day this year. As always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.